We're going to talk a little bit about using SSH to, to get a secure shell and go into our um, host and, and move around the host at a command line. Um, I'm going to go to a host that I have access to, AOIR.org, which is hosted by DreamHost. Um, and it requires that I log in. I can log in using uh, a user that I've created on the panel in DreamHost, if I can remember the password. And this will give me access to everything on this server. So again, this might look a little scary if you're not used to the command line. However, once you get used to the command line and know some of the commands, it can actually move a lot faster than dealing with Windows um, and moving through Windows and clicking and pasting and that sort of thing. So um, the first command we're going to talk about is ls. ls gives you a listing of everything in your current working directory. Remember, directories are the same as folders on Windows. Like this is a, a I'm on a Windows system right now, and that right over there is a is a directory and inside of that is a bunch of files including other directories same is true on this service server in fact we're in we can print our working directory and it tells us that we are in slash home slash aoir.org this is a shared server so there are actually a bunch of different websites and a bunch of different users on this server the only one i have access to is aoir.org of course because that's the one i pay for and that's the one i get to use but within this directory, I, you'll see that I have a whole bunch of files and directories. It's not clear by looking at this big mass of things which are files and which are directories. So I'm going to use ls-l, which gives us the long form of the directory listing. This might look a little scary, um, but it doesn't need to. This is basically the size of the file, when it was last touched, who owns it. And then over here, who has permissions to change things. And we'll talk more about that later on. For now, it's worth noting that anything that starts with a D is a directory. So this is a directory, for example, and um, this is a file because it doesn't start with a D. Uh, the thing called new file is a file. Okay, so um, what if we want to go into a directory? If we're on this computer, we double click. The equivalent of double clicking to go into a directory, let's go into wiki.aoir.org, is cd, change directory, wiki.aoir.org. And then I can do an ls and see what's in here, and there's two files in here, favicon.gif and favicon.ixo. So this cd allows me to go up and down and over and into new directories. What if I wanted to go back up? If I do pwd, you'll see my current working directory. Um, PWD is not password, despite what it looks like. It's print working directory. Is aoir.org slash home slash aoir.org slash wiki.aoir.org. So if I wanted to go up a level, I could either do cd home uh, aoir aoir.org, or I can just, there's a trick that allows me to go up one level and go cd dot dot and that will get me to pw that will get me to slash home slash aoir.org and i bet you can guess what would happen if i did this again it gets me up to home and you can see all the other people nope i'm not allowed to see all the other people that are on this server so i better go back to the place i'm allowed to go aoir.org and now i can see the things that i actually have access to so that gives you a quick how to move around things. You can actually um, edit files using a number of editors that are usually available. Uh, when you're starting out, I would recommend you use one called Pico or Nano. They're effectively the same thing. And Pico allows you to edit files. Sometimes you need to edit, for example, configuration files when you're installing software. So I could do something like this, and it allows me to edit this. This is another line. And then you'll see there's some commands down here that use the control key. So I can do control X to exit, yes to modify, enter to change that. And I've basically edited that file. Not as nice as perhaps Notebook++ or Text Wrangler or whatever, or maybe edit whatever you're using. But it is um, pretty effective when you need to do things quickly. All right, I'm going to log out by typing log out. And we'll come back and do more later.